Hey everybody, I am back. So I just took a second to prep everything. We have, um, for those of you that didn't see my last video, I am making egg roll soup in the Instant Pot. Uh, I had a question on my last video. The Instant Pot is a pressure cooker. It is amazing. It is my new life. I have two of them. I love them so much. I'd like to kill them. Eloise would like to join in. Yes, Eloise. Say hi. I'm going to. I I hope my mommy make carrots and I gave them my mouth <laughs> and I cut them up with my spoon, my fork, also, but I cut it out of my mouth. Yep. And now then go feed them my mouth. Awesome. Okay, now mommy's gonna show them how to cook the soup. Okay? And now go. Everybody's saying hi to you. Okay. So, Instant Pot, it's a pressure cooker. It saves my time, saves me time with stuff. Um, for those of you that missed, no. I sauteed a few minutes ago uh, some ground pork, ground beef, and some sauteed on or some onions with avocado oil, sorry for the noise, Eloise, mama. Avocado oil, in a few minutes, I'm gonna add some garlic, onion, Chinese five spice, and ginger. Love Primal Palette seasonings. They're super clean. What is in there is all that is in there. Um, and I love Simply Organic because these are all gluten-free um, and celiac friendly for Eloise and I. So, okay. For those of you who joined us, I am making egg roll soup. This is it. It's gonna be so good. I'm so excited. Um, I could imagine that you could probably use less broth throw it into like a lettuce wrap, more like a lettuce cup. Um, so we may have to do that tomorrow for leftovers. Those of you who are interested, I love Palo Cooking with your Instant Pot by Jennifer Robbins. She's like my favorite. She's um, predominantly paleo on Facebook and on Instagram. So what's going in it? So the ground pork, ground beef, um, and the sauteed onions. We're gonna do mushrooms, Cabbage, I'll turn you guys on sick. Cabbage, mushrooms, carrots, celery. You could probably throw anything you want in it. And then I made some homemade bone broth this weekend. Look at that gelatinous yumminess. So excited. Um, I made that in my instant pot for just a few hours with some bones. I've got to hurry up and put all this stuff in before Eloise eats it all. All right. So gonna throw in my mushrooms, cabbage. My husband's gonna build me a stand so I could start making this more frequently. Hands out of my shirt, please. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm getting tormented by a toddler. Felix, can you help me? Thank you. Ready, here we go, World War III. Life of the toddler. <laughs> okay, all right guys. <laughs> carrots. Sorry about that. Uh, carrots went in while I was being uh, grabbed. And then celery. And then I wish I could make this work a little easier. Nope. Okay. So I'm going to grab a spoon. I promise you I'm going to get a stand. I'm going to make this so much better, guys. But I'm starting out. And I really, I'm really trying to find my niche set so to speak, and I am working to possibly start a blog that lists all my recipes. I've had a lot of great feedback from people. Um, the lifestyle that we have with both myself and Eloise having celiac disease now has really, I was always a baker, I was always a cooker, um, cooked my food, cooked everything, but not as consistently. I cook every meal now for us, and I always have to change it up because we get very tired of leftovers. So, um, Trying to find something new. Trying to embrace this new lifestyle and everything that's been thrown at us. So, I appreciate all of your guys' support and feedback. Um, and I promise to continue to make more of these videos more frequently. So, and I'll get a stand. So this will be easier. Alright, so I mixed up some of this bone broth. So I could pour it in. Because it is so concentrated, I... I'm probably only going to use a jar and then I'm going to add some filtered water um, because it will still give it the flavor. Bone broth is super healthy for you. Um, 
this stuff that you see is essentially the collagen taken out of the bones that I reduced down and cooked. It's really good for your body, for your skin, for your hair, to heal your gut, which is what we're always in a mission to do in this house. Um, all right, I'm gonna add in my onion. I season to taste. I don't season per measuring half the time. Um, let's do this. You guys don't need to see me. Let's do this. So I did onion, garlic. I'm gonna add a little tiny spice spice, not much because it's a new spice for our family and I don't want any allergic reactions. We obviously eat pho, so it's in there all the time. But we are huge ginger people, super good for the gut. So I'm adding in tons of ginger. And I'm going to come over here to my sink. Our water is filtered in our house, so I just grabbed water from my sink. Sorry for the uh, stains in the sink. All right, and I'm just gonna add a little bit in there. That bone broth is gonna liquefy, so I'm not worried about adding more liquid. Um, oh, you know what we just forgot? The sea salt. And look at my new pantry I just built, guys. So exciting, it's heaven, super heaven. It was my project all weekend and it has made my life so much easier because like I said, I live in my kitchen. So adding in my pink salt, all right. Latching it closed, making sure it's in the sealed mode. And then look at this. Instant pot, 15 minutes. Let's adjust it. Let's add it to 20. And I will check back in with you guys when it is finished. So the instant pot is going to take about um, probably 15 minutes to pressurize and then 15 minutes to cook. Um, so always take that into consideration whenever you are cooking in this thing. I use it for everything. I bake in it. I make bone broth. I heat, I steam vegetables. I make spaghetti squash in it. White rice, five minutes guys, six minutes at the most for like two, four, two to four cups. Um, I do everything in it. I can cook frozen chicken breasts. I've told people this before. Um, I had six frozen chicken breasts in the freezer one night, came home, had nothing to make, and like I told you, I've gotta cook everything at home for the most part. I don't have convenience foods that we can go grab. Um, threw it in there with a little bit of water, seasonings, and it was cooked in 30, 25 minutes at the most, um, and we had shredded chicken. Threw it in some tortillas, threw it in lettuce wraps, threw it on a salad, um, you could do anything. I also make chicken like that, and oh, you totally need this, Laura. Totally need it. Um, I think it's $99 on Amazon Prime right now, which is a great deal. So take a look. Um, they typically go on sale around Christmas, um, all the major holidays. So maybe Memorial Day they'll have a sale, but always keep an eye out and I'll send you a link if I see one. Um, like I told you, I've got two. And so on the weekends, I will put um, I'll alternate them. So I'll do black beans in one while rice is cooking in the other. I'll do meat and I alternate. Each one has probably three or four meals in it in just a one day by a uh, meal prep and batch cook. Um, I do have a crock pot, still love it, but it does the same thing just in a faster time. So this is gonna cook. I will check back in with everybody. If uh, opening up the lid is not as exciting, I will take photos and I'll share with you all. Um, I will also post this recipe um, on this video so you guys can check it out try it out yourselves this recipe can be cooked in a pot it can be cooked in a crock pot so don't hesitate to use this recipe even though I use mine in the instant pot so again uh, thank you guys so much for the feedback so much for the love um, I'm excited to see you have like six people watching this video it's a lot for me so um, thank you and uh, I'm excited on the, about this new journey that I'm about to uh, embark on. So keep giving me the love and I'll keep giving you great recipes. All right, bye guys.